You've caught the final episode of the great race from deep in the jungle of Thailand back to our home ministry base in Siracha as these students are pitted against each other in four teams. Some exciting action coming up here in just a minute, but I want to encourage you that when you're done watching this, think of people that need to be here, pray for them, connect them to our website, wmcontinuum.com, because there's all kinds of amazing opportunities. Now, here we go to finish the great race back to Siracha. Last week on Continuum, four teams emerged from the jungles along the Thailand-Burma border to kick off this year's Great Race to Siracha. All teams are now on the same train traveling to Bangkok. Once they arrive, they will be given instructions to travel to Chinatown, one of the oldest parts of the city. The famous Yao Rat Road in the center of Chinatown is said to mirror a dragon's curvy body. A striking ceremonial gate marks the entrance into Chinatown. And it's here that teams must take a group photo before they receive their next task. We were handed our next clue, and but the orange team, they actually got a 10 minute penalty. But for our team, we have one mistake. So we have to wait for 10 minutes. Now the green team, the blue team, and the brown team sets off together. From the train station, we had to go to Chinatown and find a specific arch. We start running out of the train station and we just find Tuk Tuk. We have eight people for... We don't know where is it, but we know one thing we need to go to Chinatown. That's why we go first. Joey was telling that that's easy, it's not hot. So we just went outside. We had to take two separate tuk-tuks. Three other guys went into one tuk-tuk. I went into the other tuk-tuk with the three girls. Trying to find a tuk-tuk. Everybody kind of wanted to rip us off. So we finally found someone. We thought that maybe one guy on our team who's from Bangkok would actually be able to help us because we find out we have to find this red gate or something. But he has no idea where it is. So and then on the way there, our tuk-tuks end up separating. The guy went the other way and this half of and us were stuck in traffic. So. Uh, we will take a picture. Uh, this crew is mean we have to go to the uh, Chinese gate and take the picture. We have to ask directions like every 40 feet for further directions on where this is. Now we have the shiny town. Yeah. Yeah, what, that, what, that one. That, that team over there. I saw another team. Followed us and then they, they, their tuk tuk went a different way. We were taking picture together. See, do. So the green team got away. In the meantime, he was walking fast now. The unity of the team was so strong that uh, we were so excited because it's equal. Um, now we are in Chinatown at uh, uh... And we saw also one team already go ahead, I can see. But the uh, rest of my team didn't see that. I say, okay, hurry. So we just run. One, two, three. When it finishes their own bajang, you will see What's the bajang now? Bajang. Teams must purchase enough bajang, a Chinese delicacy, for each team member to eat. I don't know what bajang means, maybe place. And then we saw green team there. We were surprised because they were so fast. They, uh, we are not sure whether they walked there or by tuk-tuk. We are not sure, but they was already there. Quickly move on, take our picture with the red gate. We didn't really care about them. Two, three, two. Bye, not bajang. We're waiting for the rest of our team. 
they were lost somewhere. So we sit and we wait. We get one person going to look for them and all of a sudden it's like 10 minutes passes. All the teams have passed us already and we're sitting there waiting and waiting. But she had to tuk tuk, but she don't know the way. We finally got to the arch and we took the picture. One, two, three, four. Why enough big jack. And then we walk, we run down to uh, Chinatown. And Chinese market is so big and so wide. We keep asking where Ba Chang shop. Nobody on the team knows what this is. So we start like asking all sorts of people, mostly people that own food stands. And once again, like every 40 feet, we're asking for directions, we have no clue where we're going. Right now we are where we're supposed to be, but uh, our other three, four guys are still not here. Uh, we've waited for probably about 20 minutes. Everybody else is far gone and uh, they have our directions of where to go, but they have no money, so we have no idea how they paid for their tuk-tuk. We're going around, we're asking everybody, do you have badger, do you have badger? There was no restaurant that has bajang. It was so hard to find the shop. We just went long down now, it's just half hour already. So we just wait. Maybe they were lost somewhere. First of all, we go to the first restaurant, but the problem is they only have three butter. But in that place, restaurant, we have only three. So we need four more. Yeah, we, need four. we have three. Okay, girls can eat now. And what we did, we asked people and then they directed us. Bajang, oh, bajang. I hope it's a Chinese food. And uh, we ordered our bajang. So we paid the money and then we started to eat. Really nice. Try this if you come to Bangkok. And then the brown team came. For me, to eat bajang is not a problem. The rest of the team, uh, they didn't have much difficulties, except for one team member. First bite was kind of gross, but then it actually was good. But some people, they had a really difficult time eating it. Some people in my team, they can not eat pork, but bajang have pork. Teams must now find the quickest and cheapest route back to the IT Mall of Tukkam in Siracha to complete the final leg of the great race. Going from last to first, this is awesome. We have to run and find the place, and now we see the brow team already waiting for bachang. We know, oh, maybe that place there, and then we order bachang. I cannot eat this So we start walking, it's maybe like 10 to 20 seconds away, it's like really right around the corner and we start walking there and all of a sudden we see our guys waiting there. Uh, my team, the guy, they're waiting for here and us waiting another door. So you have uh, two different uh, door, like Chinese. From there we take our picture and we started heading to our second clue. My team member, he cannot eat because the taste is not so good. Last one. Wait, go, go. Take your way to Siratas. We just know we need to go to a place that have a uh, van. 
When we eat bajang finished, and there's the next crew. Now we're going to go to Siraja. And then we, we found a van and it took probably about 20 minutes before we actually started our journey back to Siracha. And then this man said, okay, I can take you. And we said, we only have thousand. He said, oh, okay, it's no problem. They very nice. They take all of our bags and packing in his taxi. And there was van already waiting for us, so we just got in the van. How was that? station uh, to Siracha. We jump onto the taxi and then we go like a 10 minute and then the taxi engine stalled. Something wrong with the engine and the guy changes with the truck. We take a taxi to go back to the Kong Siracha. Let's go at the front, Peter. Do not flip to the next page. Choose one team member to perform. Teams must choose one team member to perform the final task. The final task of the Great Race 2013 involves eating an extremely spicy dish called sumtam. Laced into the Thai salad are dozens of fried bugs. Once each team's chosen member has eaten the entire portion of food, they must rejoin their team and make their way to BBCI staff member Lee Ann at the finish line. The first team to arrive will be the winners of the 2013 Great Race. And then we found out that we had a mystery challenge. We didn't know what it was going to be. We just had to pick somebody. We choose Adam. Adam. Yeah, Adam. The good thing they picked me because the challenge was actually to eat some tam. And some tam is quite often very spicy, so there's people on the team that could not have done that challenge. We get our next clue. First of all, pick one team member. So we was encouraging him to eat faster. And he told us that there is some sort of box and it was so spicy, we saw his lips, he was turning red. They pull out the dish of Som Tom and uh, then they have some special surprises for Mr. Nelson. Some uh, crickets and some other big bugs. The one who cannot eat bachang and he volunteer again. Yes, again. They give us the big bowl of som tam. So spicy and you feel really burn your stomach. And so we're eating, Mr. Nelson is doing pretty good sweating. The chance to win is the tube two to take them come to the tower first. And then um, we get to know that we was the winner. The team of Levi, Levi has won the game. Team Aslan arrived in second place at BBCI headquarters, but were stopped short of crossing the finish line. In Chinatown, Team Aslan failed to find the correct entrance at the ceremonial gate, instead taking their group photo at a gate around the corner. They have incurred a 10-minute penalty. We came second. The orange team catches up, so we're still waiting. Our team become the second. And then, yeah, that's why another team come, and then they hit second. 10 minutes after that, we finish. It was funny, as we get there, we have pretty much all of the BBCI cheering us on, so we knew for sure we were the last team at that point. So 
but looking back on the race, we're united as a team, and that is what led us to victory. Our unity as a team, listening to each other's advice, really put it all together for us. In the beginning, the blue team didn't do so well, but they pulled it together, learned how to work together, and came out the winners. My favorite team, well, because I got to take them out for a buffet dinner, the big prize. But it's exciting to see their hearts really, you know, rise up to the challenge of apostolic ministry. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about what God wants to do in your life in an apostolic realm, the great commission world that Jesus has entrusted to us. So keep coming back, watching more Great Commission action from this side of the continuum.